طويل الشوق يبقى في غتراب تقير في الغياب When Umar ibn Khattab رضي الله عنه was passing away A man came into the gathering of Umar ibn Khattab and he started praising Umar رضي الله عنه He said, O Amir al-Mu'mineen, you are great. O Amir al-Mu'mineen, you did this and you did that. And Umar radiallahu anhu said, tell me, will you bear testimony to this on the day of judgment? And then Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu came in. And Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu came into the gathering. And Abdullah ibn Abbas and Umar radiallahu anhu was crying. And Umar was saying, by Allah, if I could leave this dunya, that nothing is against me and nothing is for me, I would be happy. After all Umar had achieved, Umar is saying, if I left this dunya, nothing for me and nothing against me, I would be happy. And Abdullah ibn Abbas entered the room and Umar was crying. And Abdullah ibn Abbas said, O oh, Amir al-Mu'mineen, the Prophet wasallam left this dunya and he was happy with you. No two Muslims differed regarding your Khalifat. Everybody was happy with your Khalifat. And Umar said, I know that, but it is this matter which concerns me, this Khalifat. This matter which concerns me. And then he said, Oh Abdullah, he said, he said, make me sit up. And they made him sit up. And then so he, he touched Abdullah on the shoulder. And he said, Oh Abdullah, will you bear testimony for me on the day of judgment? And Abdullah said, I will bear testimony for you on the day of judgment. And then Umar was lying in the lap of his son Abdullah ibn Umar. And he told Abdullah ibn Umar, he said, place my cheek on the ground. And Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhu said, Why, O oh my father? Why, O oh my father? And he was kissing the forehead of Umar and he placed his cheek on the ground. He said, Because if Umar is destined for Jannah, then the pillows of Jannah are softer than your thighs. And if Umar is destined for Jahannam, then you don't want a Jahannami on your thigh. Then Umar radiallahu anhu told the family, He said, Be moderate in my coffin, in my shrouds. Because if Allah has Jannah destined for me, then Allah will give me better than this. And if Allah has Jahannam destined for me, then Allah will strip me of these. And then he said, be moderate in my grave, in digging my grave. Because if Allah has Jannah destined for me, then He will expand my grave. And if Allah has Jahannam destined for me, then even that grave will squeeze. And then he said to Abdullah, he said, Abdullah, go and I ask Aisha radiallahu anha, will she allow me to be buried next to the Messenger of Allah and Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu? And Abdullah radiallahu anhu went and he knocked on the door. And he entered the house and Aisha radiallahu anha was crying. And he said to her, give us salam, but don't say salam from Amir al-Mu'mineen. Because today the Muslims don't have Amir al-Mu'mineen. And then he asked Aisha, he said, Umar request, would you allow him to be buried next to the message of Allah and Abu Bakr? And Aisha radiallahu anha said, I had reserved that place for myself because one was my husband and the other one was my father. But I give it to Umar. And the narrations mentioned when Abdullah was coming, Umar was lying down and he said, make me sit up. And they made him sit up. And he entered the room and he said, oh my father, your wish has been granted. And Umar said, I had no greater wish than that. And then Umar radiallahu anhu said, when I die and you are taking me to be buried, ask Aisha again. Because maybe because of my status she felt compelled to give me that place. Ask her again. 
And if she agrees, then bury me there. Otherwise, bury me in the graveyard of the Muslims. And Umar anhu passed away. He was taken. He was buried next to Abu Bakr and the Prophet sallallahu And the Prophet sallallahu said, he said, a man dies from the earth and bury in the earth that he was created from. And the Prophet ﷺ said that between my rawda and my pulpit is a rawda tun min riyadh al-jannah is a portion from the portions of jannah. If a man is buried in the place from the land that he is taken and created from, that means Abu Bakr, Umar, and the Prophet ﷺ were created from the clay of Jannah. They were created by the clay of Jannah.